$1,800? Psst, you must be crazy. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Beastly Review. And you know what's on deck today. You saw the thumbnail, so you know what this is about. Yes, this is one of those grails for most of you guys, not, not myself. But for a lot of you guys, this is one of those shoes that you think are a must cop, you must have in your collection, but you either don't wanna spend that money or you don't have that money to spend. Either way, you might have to choose another option. And this might be that. You know what I'm talking about. But before I get into it, I gotta shoot out that disclaimer. I do not condone or authorize the selling or reselling of any UA or replica shoe. So if you do so, or if you buy a shoe like that, you're doing it at your own risk. Yeah, the box came in, it was a little rough. The actual outside packaging looked like it got caught underneath the truck tire. However, the most important part of the package did escape damage free. Let's just look at the label. Label reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Color is black starfish sail. We got that starfish on deck. Open up the box. Nothing going on. Nothing going on. Why? Because your boy's already taking these out and laced them up. The shattered backboard. I guess we must call them the shattered backboard 1.0s now because there are 2.0s and reverse shatter backboards and 3.0s. Well, no, I guess reverse shatter backboards and 3.0s. There's really no 2.0s. Guys, we're gonna do a close-up detailed review of this shoe because this is one of those shoes you gotta see it close up to appreciate it. So let's just zoom right on in there. All right, that's a little too close, right there. You need to see me pressing in this material here. I mean, it is, it's like butter, guys. This, this, this material on here is like butter. Does this shoe live up to the hype? No, it's never gonna ever live up to that hype. To me, this is just a really good quality Jordan 1, and I think we've had plenty of good quality Jordan runs since this shoe has come out. I do have one on the side there, but after we're done this, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out, and we're gonna compare the leathers on these two different shoes. But uh, for now, let's just concentrate on the shattered backboard that we have in here. Let's look up there around that collar. That is soft and thick and buttery right around here. This is where I can usually tell if a shoe is really good quality because this part of the shoe usually doesn't have a thick leather that you can just kind of feel when you squeeze in. And on this shoe, yeah, I can kind of feel that. I can feel it, it feels good. Going around here on the sail portion, that is the most butteriest of the leather. Right there, yeah, that, that's, that's nice. Now the black leather is just the regular old tough black leather that they have on these shoes and I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Let's just pull out this. I do have one of my special uh, rejuvenator dillies in there. Here we go, look at that. Look at the, look at the, look at the, oh my God. Oh, oh my God, it's like a 99 year old's booty. That is, that is so wrinkly. Just look, just, Look at that, this is so plush. All right, let's look at the inside here. And we do have all black guts, just like a shattered backboard should. We got the tag, and let's see. Oh, and we got the shattered backboard sole. This is a dope color. I'm, I like, I'm a fan of orange. I like orange, even though it's kind of out there, the color. It is a very wearable color, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's more of a neutral color, orange is. I mean, you don't think of orange as neutral, but I, I believe it is very neutral. Um, and you can wear this with a lot more stuff than you even think you could. It does come with white laces. I don't know where I put them. They might be in the box. But uh, yeah, they're either white or sell. I don't even care for those. I just want the all black look. I love the all black look with these shoes. Now, if you see something on this shoe that I missed, please put it down in the comments. You know, like we say, each one, teach one. Pretty good looking shoe. We do got a little bit of that hourglass. Uh, going on in the back here. Now what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and do a little comparison real quick of this leather on this shoe versus a retail pair of one of my favorite, if not my favorite Jordan 1, the Obsidian. Retail Obsidian right here. Look at that leather. Look at that. Now I'm telling you, the Obsidian, man, the Obsidian is holding its own. But uh, yeah, this ain't no slouch either though. This ain't no slouch. I think both of these are really nice quality shoes. There's a reason that the Obsidians are gonna go up. The leather on the Obsidian is just as good, if not better, than the Shattered Backboard. $1,800? Yeah, I think not. There are other options out there, so uh, we can have our cake and eat it too. You don't have to spend that much money for a shoe you just wanna put on foot. The only way this shoe would be worth $1,800 is if it came with $1,600 on the inside of it. 
Be smart with your cash. Be smart. Now, unless you're trying to collect a shoe or something like that, or it's an investment, I understand if you want to go ahead that route. But for me, nah. Let's go now and see how this John looks on foot. Let's get it. And we're back. What do you guys expect? I mean, it's a shattered backboard. Of course, these are going to look dope on feet. I mean, was there any question? I didn't even need to do it on foot. But if you spend $1,800, you're silly. You're silly. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out of this joint, guys. Until next time. Later.